Hey guys, John with off Road Homesteading. All right, so we had our spring down below dry up, and uh, so we have our storage unit at the top of the hill that um, has a well in it, and uh, one of the things we did is, oops, hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. There we go. So, anyway, one of our uh, water tanks that we had, um, we took down to the car wash and used the pressure washers down there to soap it out, clean it out, rinse it out, do all that. And this is the solution that we're using uh, right now to top off our tanks right now temporarily until we get more water um, or our spring comes back. So. Here's your 300 gallon tank. So anyway, it's uh, flowing into here. We're just using a two inch pipe off of our tank, coming down into a little coupler. And then we are topping off our tank right here. Back up. What do you think? I think we need to do dousing and get our own spring going again. I really want my spring back up again. I watched some YouTube videos and it showed me how to check the um, or the questions to ask to find out if our spring is working. So maybe we'll do a video on our dousing. Yeah. So I think it could just be blocked. I don't know. But it's worth trying to fix the developed spring we already have first before we go out and try to do something different. So that's our plan. Because to dig a well out here is going to be, you know, what, five grand at least. Five grand, yeah. So, um, and right now I want winter housing. So it's draining out pretty good. We've only been running this for maybe two minutes and two-thirds of the tank has already uh, been emptied see right there and we're only just losing a tiny bit slightly dripping off the hose so this is pretty good pretty good solution probably fill it up one more time when we have a full tank yeah Okay. 